Yeah, we're more than looking at it. We're actively testing it and trialing it as well. As you can see, we're pretty busy. So uh, I don't know if you heard, but at the Commonwealth Games, we uh, were in collaboration with, uh, with our partners, with the BBC, Qualcomm and Huawei. And we were giving live demonstrations in Glasgow in the BBC uh, Innovation Centre. So that's already done. We're very, very pleased with the results. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll continue demoing in other areas. I think the next area that we're looking at, not yet confirmed, but it's uh, Wembley Stadium. As you know, we've got, uh, we've got a very close partnership with Wembley. We're uh, focused on bringing the best of uh, the worldwide innovation technology to the Wembley Stadium as soon as possible. Commercial prospects, I think, are very interesting, especially because a lot of broadcasters are very interested in this. It gives a, it gives a guarantee of high quality of service uh, for video content and new applications uh, around the mobile broadcast uh, environment. So broadcasters are interested. I think there's a lot of other third parties who are interested in the commercial aspects. Uh, it can be used, I know, in, in the States it's been used for um, advertising purposes where you can actually give multimedia advertising content through 4G uh, with um, LTE broadcast to billboards. Um, so there's a, there's, there's a few applications we're looking at. Uh, commercially, but it will in, essentially for us, we're very much interested in make, maintaining the quality of our network, even in very, very densely populated areas such as stadiums, events such as Glastonbury, where there's a huge amount of video users and we need to maintain the quality of service even for them. Well, I think it's going to have a massive impact. It's going to have a huge impact in the same way that 4G today is having a huge impact on, on the man in the street where, you know, using your mobile over 4G for anything is, uh, is, is now the norm. Whereas with 3G, you would know that depending where you are, depending on the time of day, it may or may not be useful. Um, so for LTE Advanced, especially this step of LTE Advanced, because it's going to keep evolving, uh, 300 megs, Initially, I think in the early stages, it's really going to be for uh, the businessman or woman in the street, where for business purposes, it's absolutely essential. Time is money. It's going to make it much more effective and, and faster to do, uh, uh, to do essential things. Uh, also for innovators, whether they're consumer or business or third parties who are innovating new applications, uh, they, I think, are going to have a field day with this technology because it's, it's literally bringing the mobile world where many people never believed it would ever get to. So it's really, really exciting because it's the first time that the mobile world is going far ahead of the fixed world, which is you know, groundbreaking. So we are very keen to get that technology in the hands of the innovators, especially in Tech City, so they can actually build those applications. Um, one of the things that we believe in LTE Advanced is that it, it is the enabler for 4K TV. We believe that it's going to be the main broadcast channel for 4K TV, uh, more than the, any other type of broadcasting. Um, and we know we really believe in 4K over 4G. That's going to be, I think, a key usage. And I think it's already clear from what Netflix have been saying uh, that they are investing much more heavily on 4K content than the traditional broadcast because they know they can get it out there quicker through 4G and LTE advanced networks in particular.